let's start with list right the first uh, collection that we have got in here list right when when we talk about list consider some uh, something like an array in which the information that we store is uh, getting stored in a sequential format with the index right so if i want to store uh, like let's say if i want to store different different uh, numbers or different roll numbers inside list how i can show that just store it inside it right 11 14 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 right so or let's say this is just an age of students anything so this complete is an array and when it comes to uh, apex it is called as a list right in list the values that you store gets stored sequentially so the first value will always get stored over here the second will over here will get stored over here third over here fourth over here and fifth over here it's like this is it clear okay and these are very simple concepts i know you know that but uh, still i have to explain it because not everyone is aware of it so uh, and by the way when it comes to arrays there is an indexing that happens right that means the first uh, place holder where the value gets stored is zero then next one is one then next one is two then next one is three then next one is four just like this right so the first value that you store gets stored onto zeroth index of that uh, particular list and then the second value that you store over there uh get stored onto the one index uh, one index that's what it is okay what what do you think uh i mean okay let's talk about arrays in c language right are they static or dynamic so uh, when when you talk about whether an array or whether a data structure is static or dynamic we are talking about that uh, whether its size can be increased or decreased or it can be changed or not so when it comes to c uh, normally like the arrays that we create over there they are static we cannot change the size of the array once it is declared and when you talk about uh, java the arrays are dynamic right the allocation of the arrays memory happens at run time in java the allocation of uh, the memory of array happens at compile time in c right that's what the difference is but the size again cannot be changed when it comes to arrays in java for that we can create array list you remember that whose size can be changed in a, or or you can you you might call it vector so basically it's a data structure similar to an array whose size can be increased or decreased at run time in apex list size can be uh, increased or decreased at run time you just need to declare a list and the more elements you'll add into it the the, the more uh, the like the size will get increased uh, the more elements uh, as uh, according to the uh, elements that you are adding into it so like currently i am adding five elements into it so it it's uh, i mean there will be five the size will increase by five if i am adding 11 elements into it the size will be increased by 11 and if i am deleting five elements into it from it then the size will get reduced as well accordingly right so that's uh, what a benefit of list is in apex because it's dynamic and the allocation of the memory obviously happens at the run time and uh, the size can be changed uh, can be increased or decreased at run time and why it is required by the way why why it is necessary that uh, we should be able to change the size of a exactly yes so uh, i mean we do not know that how many elements are we going to store into this particular list it might be 5 it might be 50 so if we we'll, uh, declare 15 then the memory will be blocked for 50 elements so in that case we need the list or the arrays whatever you want to call it uh to be dynamic so that we can change the size of it at run time that's what it is make sense and again the two main properties of it is the data gets stored into the sequential order next the data can be duplicate the information that you are storing inside it can be duplicate over here 11 is coming two times right that's what it is 